Education and Investment Tour. Expat Money. Securing your new life abroad. say welcome everybody i'm really really excited about this week this is going to be a lot of fun this is actually my third time doing the uruguay trip this is the expat exploration and investors tour so we're definitely geared towards finding a new home for people but also a new home for your money you guys know me i'm very bullish on real estate so this is a good opportunity we're going to be meeting with the lawyers with the property developers with the real estate agents the brokers everything like that, they'll run through uh, the orientation about Uruguay that day. So I believe you will find uh, a lot of new friends in this group, okay? Good. Thank you. Montevideo in Uruguay. We flew in last night and it's going to be a fantastic week. We're just loading up the bus right now. We're going to be heading to Punta del Este on the coastline where we're going to start the conference. I'm really excited about this week. It's going to be so much fun and I hope you guys can join us for the next one. de por medio en la esquina de algún bar no me puedo imaginar el mundo sin Uruguay que aunque en el mapa está chico es lo más grande que hay Uruguay We've got a very good partnership with Dekel and his group. And being the smart man that he is, he spotted Uruguay as a great opportunity for people. I think the turmoil in the world has always attracted people to a safe uh, place out of what, out of the way of trouble like Uruguay. I think, and I think that's more uh, visible today. Welcome to Uruguay. I think you, you will get surprised with what you see here. You have a great quality of life here. Uh, we are far away from your point of view, but it's a very, very nice place to live and a very secure place to invest. Right? Um, my role will be to describe particular uh, farmland investments of different types, uh, like forestry, agriculture, grazing. And in one afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, uh, we will tour you around and show you examples. 
But why won't it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. I can't even figure out how to make it work. In all these three, three, four years almost, Uruguay's done a fantastic job. I would say it's taken it up one further notch in making it attractive for foreigners and for foreign investors. We are at the point in Punta del Este. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. The weather has been fantastic here. We've been out touring things. We're gonna go see some real estate in a little bit. And yeah, just appreciate the view. It's absolutely spectacular. Let's see a, an example of a farm here. This is the well and they pump it up to the house, okay? Acá con el tango que viene desde lejos. So then we'll go see some other stuff, and then you can kind of have context. Okay? Copando la ciudad. They are selling the units all renewed, right? All renewed for rent. Okay? And so one investor came in, bought the whole thing, yeah. renovated the whole thing. Now he's selling the individual okay. units. The more Most of it is already done, but he's. Go we're gonna see one that's already finished and one that's almost already almost. finished. This is your place? Si. Bienvenido. It's mi nueva casa. It's on the way, the restaurant's on the way. Otherwise we pass the restaurant, then we turn around and come back to the restaurant. Yeah, there's enough showers we, here. We have, so every we have like 12 <laughs> bathrooms here. Yeah. So. 47 bathrooms. 
We can uh, on, yeah. split up. Where is going to take up? So we've had a really good morning this morning talking about farmland, timberland, cattle, row crops, a lot of these types of things. We brought in an agronomist to speak to us. He has a ton of experience. He lived overseas in New Zealand doing these things. We we're talking about the organic processing, how everything fits together, the yields, how to structure the farmland. We're going to be structuring some deals this week between some, some partnerships between the clients. So it's not just about learning about the things, it's actually about doing them as well. So it's been a fantastic morning. And this afternoon, we're going to go and see some of the examples of the farm. Plans. They call it a lifestyle farms, professionals. And, but it is economically being sustainable, sustains itself with the economic structure so That's why we particularly like this property and what this property is. Because you have the combination of the two, the lifestyle and the economics and the investment. Ellos miran cosas residenciales, pero los que están acá tienen mucho interés en temas de campo también, ¿no? Eh, así que bueno, hay gente que le interesa más la parte productiva, hay gente que entiende el concepto de mezcla de productivo y estar cerca de todo. fun we had tango dancers we did a big barbecue here we had live music open bar it's just been a wild wild night it's just unbelievable i love uruguay just love it well it is a beautiful sunny day we've just finished in the conference room we've gone through a lot of the immigration the tax the real estate, the investment side of things. Now we're gonna be heading out to the museum, to the Maca Museum. We're gonna go and see some of the cultural things for the rest of the week here in Uruguay. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a great conference portion, but now we're gonna go out there and really start to explore the country. It's gonna be awesome. Everybody, and uh, 
Fundación para ayudar y Forest de Maca Museum. We are now in the whole sculpture park, uh, which is a 40-acre park with more than 70 sculptures from of artists from all around the world. Um, we also have like different buildings where you can go. Uh, now we have closed, but that, uh, that one, but it's uh, Pablo Chuari's workshop where uh, he works when he comes here in, in summer because nowadays uh, he lives in Italy. Like he lives the first uh, six months of the year there. And uh, well, on summer, he comes back and works there. for the video and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about materials, you can make wine on like whichever material you have. Here we have only three. We have stainless steel, we have concrete, I'm going to show you later, and we have wood. Those are salon. You like it? Yeah, I do. So I just want to take just 30 seconds and just say thank you to everybody for joining me this week. I hope that this has been valuable to you, okay? It's, uh, it's been a pleasure to take you guys down here. I love you guys with all of my heart. You guys are my best of my best of my best clients. You guys mean the world to me. I've done everything in my power to try and make this a really great week for you. I hope it's been valuable to you, okay? Wow, what an incredible week. We just finished the tour. We just said goodbye to everyone. It was a really emotional experience. It's been a really big week. We've spent a week together here in Uruguay and it's just been so phenomenal. I met so many amazing people. It was so wonderful to spend time with all of the clients. I hope that you guys can join us next time on one of our tours, either to Uruguay or to Colombia or to Panama or other, any of the other countries that we go to. It's such a magical experience and we have so much fun and so many relationships are born. If you guys want to learn more about what we do, go to expatmoney.com, check out the tours, check out the private consulting that we do, the podcast, the blog, everything. There's so much at expatmoney.com. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys on the next tour. Let's do it. Expat.
money, securing your new life abroad.